Tesla just leaked documents showing the Model 2 could hit dealerships at $25,000 before incentives. Multiple Fremont sources confirm Elon signed off on three radical changes that slashed production costs by 40% while somehow beating gas cars on total ownership expense. Is this the move that finally kills the used Camry market? Or are we about to see the biggest manufacturing risk Tesla's ever taken? Because what's happening inside Gigafactory Texas right now isn't just about building a cheaper EV. It's about rewriting what Americans expect from a $25,000 car. Here's what nobody's talking about. Tesla's Shanghai suppliers just shifted ceramic electrolyte film production schedules by eight weeks. Japanese partners are ramping up solid-state separator materials, and insiders at Fremont say the Model 2 pack won't be traditional lithium-ion. It's a semi-solid hybrid configuration targeting 44 to 52 kilowatt-hours depending on trim. This isn't speculation. This is supply chain movement with real money behind it. The numbers tell a different story than what you're hearing elsewhere. Current Model 3 LFP packs deliver around 160 to 170 watt-hours per kilogram. The Model 2's semi-solid design could push that to 220 to 245 watt-hours per kilogram. That's a 120 to 160 pound weight reduction while keeping the same usable energy. For a car expected to weigh under 3,000 pounds, cutting 150 pounds of battery mass changes physics. Acceleration improves, handling tightens, efficiency climbs without adding a single horsepower. But here's where it gets controversial. With a drag coefficient between 0.23 to 0.25 in smaller frontal area than Model 3, even a 48 kilowatt hour semi-solid pack could deliver 275 to 310 miles EPA rated. Real world highway driving at 65 miles per hour, you're still looking at 230 to 250 miles. That finally makes a budget Tesla viable for people without home charging who need to drive I-95 or I-10 regularly. The charging advantage might be even bigger. Solid state materials don't swell like liquid electrolytes under heat stress. Early modeling suggests the Model 2 could accept 210 to 240 kilowatts on V3 superchargers. Once V4 stations roll out nationwide, Peak charging could hit 280 kilowatts under optimal conditions. We're talking 10% to 70% in 12 to 14 minutes, cutting current LFP charging times by a third. Does that finally kill range anxiety for the average driver? Here's the part that should worry traditional automakers. Because there's no flammable liquid electrolyte, thermal runaway becomes dramatically harder to trigger. Supplier testing in 2025 showed punctured semi-solid cells heating past 480 degrees Fahrenheit without entering uncontrolled combustion. And degradation curves suggest these packs could sustain 4,000 to 5,000 full cycles. That translates to 700,000 to 800,000 miles before dropping to 80% capacity. Your gas car's engine will be scrap metal long before this battery needs replacement. But there's a catch. Semi-solid state production at scale has never been done profitably. Tesla's betting everything that their manufacturing innovations can crack the cost curve. If they succeed, every other automaker is three to five years behind. If they fail, the Model 2 becomes vaporware and Elon's credibility takes another massive hit. Tesla's not putting a scaled down Model 3 motor in the Model 2. Leaked specifications point to a completely new ultra-efficient drive unit rated between 110 to 140 kilowatts. That sounds weak until you run the numbers. This motor could push the Model 2 from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 to 6.8 seconds, faster than the Corolla, Civic, Sentra, and most gas compacts Americans actually buy. How? Tesla engineers redesigned the stator with tighter coil geometry and refined lamination stacking that cuts eddy current losses at cruising speeds. Combined with the lighter semi-solid battery, this motor could deliver 220 to 240 watt-hours per mile on the EPA cycle. The Model 3 RWD sits near 250 to 260 watt-hours per mile. Rival compact EVs struggle to get below 300. That efficiency gap is the difference between affordable and expensive, over 100,000 miles of ownership. Temperature management is where this gets interesting. With improved preconditioning and semi-solid thermal stability, 
winter efficiency losses might drop to 25 to 35 miles of range instead of the 50 to 70 mile drops older EVs experience. For buyers in Minnesota, Michigan, or upstate New York, that's not a luxury feature. It's the difference between practical and unusable. The cost reduction strategy reveals Tesla's real plan. Suppliers in Germany and Texas confirmed Tesla is cutting copper use by 18 to 22 pounds per motor through tighter formed, shorter loop winding designs. Copper is one of the most expensive EV motor materials. Removing 20 pounds per unit saves millions annually once production hits 600,000 to 800,000 units per year. That's how you get to a $25,000 retail price without losing money on every car. There's also a stealth upgrade nobody's discussing. Previous Tesla motors produced high-frequency whine between 40 to 55 miles per hour that became a signature complaint. The new motor uses a modified rotor skew angle to suppress harmonic resonance. Early internal testing suggests the Model 2 could be one of the quietest compact EVs in its class. Premium car refinement at economy car pricing. The reliability implications are massive. Fewer moving parts, reduced copper thermal loads, narrower RPM operating band. All of this means fewer failure points. If Tesla's internal projections hold, this motor could reach 600,000 miles before requiring major service. What gas car engine does that? None. And that's the point. Tesla's not just competing on purchase price, they're competing on total cost of ownership over a decade. Will traditional automakers even understand they're in a different game until it's too late? The third change is where Tesla might alienate buyers or prove they understand the market better than anyone else. Early documents suggest Tesla is replacing the heavy multi-layer Model 3-slash-Y dashboard with a structural cross-beam design that cuts 14 to 19 pounds while freeing up legroom in a car, measuring only 171 to 178 inches bumper to bumper. The infotainment strategy is smart cost engineering. A smaller 10.5 to 11-inch display delivers the same interface speed and voice control as larger Teslas without the expense of a 15-inch panel. The new AMD-based computer reportedly offers 35% faster UI response while drawing less power. When you're optimizing for efficiency in a compact EV, every watt saved extends range. Safety gets upgraded in ways most buyers won't notice until a crash. Because semi-solid packs hold their shape better during deformation, Tesla can reinforce lower crash rails and door structures without adding weight. Fremont's Crash Engineering Group has been modeling side impact loads comparable to a 3,300-pound Honda Civic, even though the Model 2 may weigh 300 to 350 pounds less. That's structural stiffness you rarely see in entry-level EVs. But here's the controversy. Multiple sources suggest Tesla is eliminating traditional stocks and gear selectors, similar to the updated Model 3. Instead, you get capacitive touch zones and predictive gear selection using surroundings, incline, and driver habits to automatically choose drive or reverse. Older buyers will hate this. Tesla's betting that removing mechanical parts reduces long-term failures and cuts cabin production time by 40 to 55 seconds per vehicle. When you're building 800,000 units annually, those seconds add up to real money. The software strategy might be Tesla's smartest move. Instead of forcing expensive packages, they're reportedly splitting driver assist into affordable tiers. A revised autopilot daily driver pack priced well below full self-driving could offer lane centering, adaptive cruise, and limited automated passing features that actually matter on U.S. highways. That democratizes advanced safety for budget buyers instead of making it a luxury tax. Cabin monitoring is getting upgraded too. A new RGB IR camera module tracks driver fatigue at night without high-power IR blasting, keeping power draw minimal while meeting stricter NHTSA requirements expected between 2026 to 2027. Small detail, but it shows Tesla's thinking system-level efficiency. The winter heating solution deserves attention. Tesla's testing a miniaturized heat pump derived from Model Y's architecture, but sized for the Model 2's smaller front compartment. Early predictions suggest 10 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit better winter heating efficiency than older systems. For northern state buyers, 
This directly impacts whether the semi-solid battery maintains promised range during February cold snaps. Hyundai and Nissan haven't solved this problem in their budget EVs. If Tesla has, that's a legitimate competitive advantage. The real question, will American buyers accept a $25,000 EV with premium features but unconventional controls? Tesla's betting that value wins over tradition. The data will come fast. If early Model 2 reviews show buyers adapting within days, traditional stocks will look like relics. If owners keep complaining six months in, Tesla might have miscalculated what budget buyers actually want versus what tech enthusiasts think they should want. These three changes only matter if Tesla executes at scale without quality disasters. Semi-solid batteries at high volume have never been done profitably. The ultra-efficient motor needs to prove itself over 500,000-plus miles in real conditions. And the controversial interior choices could spark a backlash that tanks initial sales. But if Tesla pulls this off, the used Camry market faces extinction. Why buy a five-year-old gas car with 80,000 miles when a new EV costs the same, accelerates faster, requires minimal maintenance, and saves $1,200 to $1,800 annually on fuel? That's not a Tesla pitch. That's basic math. The question isn't whether the Model 2 will be good. The question is whether American buyers are ready to admit that $25,000 EVs can outperform $35,000 gas cars they've been loyal to for decades. So here's what it really means. Tesla isn't just building a cheaper EV. They're forcing every automaker to answer an impossible question. How do you compete with a $25,000 car that outperforms your $35,000 models while costing less to own over 10 years? You can't. Not with current technology. That's why the Model 2 isn't just Tesla's biggest manufacturing risk. It's the automotive industry's extinction-level event. The used Camry market? It survives only if Tesla fails at scale. And based on what's happening inside Gigafactory Texas right now, that's looking less likely every week. But this is just the beginning. If semi-solid batteries prove viable at volume, we're looking at 2027 to 2028 Model 3, and Y refreshes with the same technology. Then Cybertruck, then Semi. The cost curve doesn't stop dropping, it accelerates. What happens when $20,000 EVs with 300 mile range become normal? When gas stations start closing because nobody needs them, we're about to find out. Here's my question for you. If the Model 2 delivers everything Tesla's promising at $25,000, what's your move? Waiting for competitors to catch up or jumping in early? Drop your take in the comments. This is Tesla Zone, and we dig into the breakthroughs reshaping how you'll drive in five years. For the latest on Model 2 production timelines and the next wave of Tesla innovations, you know where to find us. The $25,000 EV revolution isn't coming. It's here, December 2025. Tesla's targeting $12,749 production cost for the Model 2, that's $15,000 in savings over 10 years compared to a gas car. Sounds perfect, right? But here's the trap 90% of people are walking into. That number isn't the price you'll pay, and one hidden factor could erase all those savings overnight. The difference between production cost and your actual out-the-door price? $7,000 to $12,000 more. Even worse, there's one decision that determines whether you save that $15,000 or spend more than keeping your current car. Miss this, and you could waste years waiting for the wrong vehicle or buy it only to discover the trap too late. In the next 15 minutes, I'll show you the real math, the hidden costs, and exactly what this trap is before you make a $20,000 mistake. Let's talk about what that $12,749 number actually means because this is where most people lose thousands of dollars before they even walk into a showroom. When Tesla sets a production cost target of $12,749, they're talking about the raw cost to manufacture one unit. That includes materials, factory labor, and allocated resources.